the fifth season of Cobra Kai introduces new faces to the Netflix spin-off series. Among them is Alicia Hannah Kim, who plays Kim Daun, one of various new sensei to help expand Thomas Ian Griffith's character, Terry Silver's vision of the dojo throughout the valley. The actress has provided a preview of the character and what to expect out of season 5 of the series, so in today's video, let's see what she has to say. First up, Alicia Hannah Kim discusses Silver's new sensei, Kim Daun. The Minx actress revealed that Kim Daun would be the first female sensei of the Karate Kid universe, describing her character as being incredibly powerful, mysterious, and dangerous. Not just that, but according to the actress, she also has her own particular fighting style. Her physicality is pretty different from everybody else in the universe. We can't wait to meet this powerful female character. Though Kim and Terry will develop a mutual alliance and will very much be aligned and share the Cobra Kai philosophy of martial arts, Hannah Kim teased that her character wasn't someone who'd be at the beck and call of anyone else. How she gets entangled in the ongoing feud in the valley is something that viewers will be able to find out throughout the season. Everyone will eventually learn what her true motivations are, especially since the star revealed that everything you know about Cobra Kai is about to be turned upside down. Joining Alicia this season is the returning face of the Karate Kid franchise actor Sean Cannon, who will be reprising his role as Mike Barnes from 1989's Part 3. We'll see him reunite with Griffith since Terry was his sensei during the events of the film. To see Hannah Kim's character build on the franchise's legacy and take the responsibility of being the series' first female sensei, we'll have to watch Season 5 of Cobra Kai on September 9th. Next, Mike Barnes is back in first look photos in Season 5. Netflix is pulling back the curtain on Season 5 of Cobra Kai, teasing us with a batch of first look images for the Karate Kid sequel series' new episodes. This new content provides Cobra Kai fans a hint of the events of the upcoming fifth season, in which we'll see Cobra Kai plan to expand its dojo across the valley under the total control of Terry Silver. Johnny Lawrence and Daniel LaRusso will need to recruit some old and new faces to combat this takeover. Among the group of familiar faces is none other than actor Sean Cannon, who has been rumored to reprise his role as Mike Barnes from The Karate Kid 3 for the longest time now. Recently, Netflix unveiled a batch of photos that revealed Cobra Kai's new students, and a look at favorite characters William Zabka's Johnny Lawrence and Ralph Macchio's Danny LaRusso. It also teases the return of Karate Kid 3 star Sean Cannon, who is set to reprise his role as Mike Barnes. The new images reveal that Thomas Ian Griffith's character, Terry Silver's plan of franchising his Cobra Kai dojo, is going more than well. Cobra Kai follows the lives of Johnny and Daniel more than three decades after the events of the 1980s Karate Kid franchise. When the pair decide to open competing dojos, they reignite the old rivalry back from high school. Now, they're aligned together against Silver, who's taken over Cobra Kai from Martin Cove's villain, John Kreese. Other stars from the original franchise who will be reprising their roles in Cobra Kai include Yuji Okamoto as Chosen Toguchi and Randy Heller as Lucia LaRusso. Tanner Buchanan, Mary Mouser, Zolo Maraduena, Courtney Hengler, Peyton List, Jacob Bertrand, Vanessa Rubio, and Rose Bianco also return to the series. The spin-off show first premiered as a YouTube premium original series back in 2018, but was later acquired by Netflix in 2020 after YouTube stopped making original scripted content. John Hurwitz, Josh Heald, and Hayden Schlossberg are set to be the series creators and executive producers through Counterbalance Entertainment, while the series will be produced by Sony Pictures Television. Plus, Cobra Kai Season 5's first trailer teases a brewing karate war. The premiere date of the fifth season of the martial arts series Cobra Kai is just around the corner, which means we can trust Netflix to tease us with some content that might reveal what we can expect from the upcoming new episodes. The series is centered around old-time adversaries that are still at odds more than 30 years after their showdown in the classic martial arts movie, The Karate Kid. At the end of Season 4, Silver's team were victorious in the All-Valley Tournament, forcing the Miyagi-Do Karate Dojo to close its doors permanently. That's why the evil sensei decided to expand all over LA, as his map and flags show. Also revealed by these latest pictures are students both chilling out and preparing to kick each other down. We were also teased with a glimpse at a new character, Sensei Kim Daun, played by Alicia Hannah Kim, and Martin Cove's character Kreese's jail stint after he was framed. In the first full trailer for Cobra Kai Season 5, we can see Johnny and Chosen team up this year. It's an original Karate Kid fan's dream come true. Only this time, they're not fighting against Daniel, they're fighting with him, and they're all going against 
the former villain of the third film, who's also the current villain on the show, Terry Silver. But that's just the start of where the new season of Cobra Kai is going. Noticeably absent in the trailer is Mike Barnes, played by Sean Cannon. The first images from the season revealed that the other evil presence in The Karate Kid Part 3 was appearing this season, nearly completing the full complement of major cameos from the original films. Fans are even expecting to see Hilary Swank come back soon. Even without Barnes, we can see that Cobra Kai is growing at an alarming rate. Daniel has shut down Miyagi-Do, Johnny is struggling to make ends meet, and the kids are, as always, at each other's throats. We can't wait to actually watch Season 5 for ourselves soon. And now for some other related news. So, when can we expect Season 5? Cobra Kai Season 5 is finally coming back to Netflix on the 9th of September 2022. Until now, the show has followed a structure that mirrored the franchise's original movies. We were introduced to the Karate Kid Part 3's main villain at the end of Season 4. The release date was revealed at a live event that happened at the Netflix is a Joke Festival in Los Angeles on May 5, 2022, during an exceptional performance for Cobra Kai, which took place at the Microsoft Theater. Most of the cast participated in entertaining activities with the audience, teased details about Season 5, and showed an alternate version of Season 4's ending. Next, filming and production updates. The majority of the show was filmed in Atlanta, Georgia, like the previous seasons. However, this season will involve a lot of traveling, as Miguel will be seen searching for his father in Mexico. The director, John Hurwitz, has recently acknowledged that those episodes of Season 5 were shot in Puerto Rico. Hayden Schlossberg and John Hurwitz are both confirmed to be directing episodes this season. Post-production began in early March 2022, and we even got a tweet from Zach Robinson, a seasoned composer for the series, assuring viewers that they're actively working on the fifth season's musical score. Seems like it's a jam-packed schedule for the entire cast and crew. And finally, what to expect from the new season. One of the many things to expect from the upcoming season is that Terry Silver might take over Cobra Kai and The Valley. Following the events of Season 4, Terry Silver's free to fully take over Cobra Kai and follow his vision for the dojo, now that Kreese has been accused of Stingray's assault. It seems like Daniel LaRusso will break his own promise and carry on instructing students at his Miyagi-Do dojo, despite his inability to accept the dishonorable means by which Cobra Kai set out to win the All-Valley Tournament. Habits are hard to break, after all. Meanwhile, Chosen Toguchi, an old enemy turned new friend who teaches Miyagi-Do karate in Okinawa, has agreed to assist Daniel in his battle against the Cobra Kai. Toguchi might finally get his long-awaited redemption arc this season. As for Robbie, he'd feel pressure from Johnny to quit Cobra Kai for sure, but because of guilt after instructing Kenny, he might decide to stick around. Tori will probably experience a struggle similar to Robbie's, which could result in her leaving the dojo. We should expect a massive increase in new students as a result of the several new Cobra Kai dojos that are all set to open up around the valley. This could result in some conflict between Cobra Kai and the students of these competing dojos. All this should make for some pretty interesting fight scenes, and we're definitely looking forward to that. And that's a wrap for this video. Are you excited for Alicia Hannah Kim's new sensei, Kim Daun? Which other original characters from the Karate Kid series are you expecting to see in Cobra Kai Season 5? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. See you in the next video.